Hey YouTube fam, it's your girl Gladys, aka Is That Your Hair. Welcome back to my channel. But today's video is sponsored by Sans Beauty. Sans Beauty, thank you so much for sending me this unit. This is from the Stylist Collection. And as you saw, I already reviewed one unit from the stylist, the Nation unit. If you didn't check that out, it'll be in the cards up above here. Now this is from their Invisible Lace 100% Human Hair Master Mix collection. The unit I have today is Bella, and I have her in the color Blanche Caramel. This unit does come with a 13 by six parting area. As I said in the stylist video about Nisha, 13 by six is not your typical 13 by six parting space. It's more like this area is where the parting space is, like a four by four almost. And these areas here get slimmer like around two inches or so. Let me give you a quick 360 of the unit. All right, so let's just dive right into the pros of this unit. First pro will definitely be the lace. I think this lace blend so well without me having to do much work as soon as i put it on it was blending without me putting the powder on and i really appreciate that especially as a dark-skinned woman not all lace comes equally so <laughs> so i often find myself having a little bit of trouble navigating the lace with synthetic units but with this one i mean i really didn't have much of an issue at all it was actually the easiest i've experienced in a long time. I really, really appreciate that. Another pro to this unit is the parting space area. Even though it is not a full 13 by six in my opinion, I think it still gives you a lot of room to play with. Like for me, this did come in a center part and I was able to flip it over to the side part with ease and just lay it down with my curling wand with no problem. I also really like how they did the dark rooting on this wig. It starts off with this like 1B color and then it goes into the chocolate very, very seamlessly. Unfortunately, you guys, that's pretty much where the pros stop for me. I do have quite a few cons with this unit. The first one being the style. So if you look at this clip here, when I took her out and put her on and, you know, put my got to be glue free spray, I had her in the middle naturally because that's how it came and I wasn't feeling it at all. I was brushing out the curls and they just got to me, they just got frizzy and they weren't forming correctly. I kept having to do like this twirling motion to kind of get the curls to where I wanted it. I know I normally show that process, but this time I did it off camera. I did cut some of this unit off. Like I cut like two inches from the bottom here because the ends did start getting a bit frayed. I cut over here on the side. I cut the bang because it was too long. I had to put a lot of work into this unit to make it look decent for me. That was a con for me because I just feel like synthetic wigs in this similar type of style, I normally don't have to do that much work. Normally the curls come, they fall, and I'm normally happy about it. One of my favorite synthetic wigs of this year is Bobby Boss Kylie, and those curls were beautiful. So that's kind of what I've become accustomed to with these type of curls. So I was surprised that it was like they were fighting me. I wasn't feeling that. No, thank you, Bella. <laughs> so that was a con. I also am not really feeling the texture. It is supposed to be a human hair blend master mix. When I put my fingers through it, I was like, okay, I think I kind of feel the human hair blend, but it's still tangling like a normal $25 synthetic unit of this texture, you know, how that would tangle. I know that this unit retails for $35, so it's definitely at the lowest price point I've seen for a human hair blend. So I don't expect the qualities to be similar to that of the Body Boss Miss Origin series human blend. But I guess I just wasn't expecting as much tangling because it's human hair blend. So that definitely was a con as well. My third con would be the coloring. I was looking forward to trying the Blige Caramel. However, I'm not really feeling it. I think some parts are a little bit streaky and I'm not a fan of that. I prefer something that's a little bit more blended. So right now I think it looks cute enough, but when I was styling her, I really was thinking to myself, wow, I just should have just got the 1B. I would have liked this so much better in the 1B color. I don't know, you guys. I just feel like the color job combined with the texture, combined with the fighting I had to do to get this style the way I wanted to, it was just a lot of work for me that I wasn't really interested in doing. I think the stylist did a great job with this lace. 
I mean, the lace is blending perfectly. So kudos to that because who wants to walk around with ashy lace? Like, I, I don't. But otherwise, you know, unfortunately, Bella's not my favorite. Let me know how you feel about Bella in the comments down below. How do you feel about the style, the coloring? Maybe you've seen her in other reviews. Maybe you picked her up yourself. Would you purchase this unit? Let me know. And if you are new to my channel, make sure you tap that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. Remember, Is That Your Hair Holiday is on its way. It starts Monday, December 9th. You want to make sure that notification bell is on so that you don't miss out because I'm going to be collabing with some of my favorites on the YT so you don't want to miss it. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.